Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today we are going to be talking about sleep and three simple steps that you can use right now to start getting a better sleep tonight. Sleep is so critical for all aspects of your health and wellness. Um, sleep really helps with everything from like brain function, immune health, your metabolism, obviously things like your mood and just like your overall ability to get things done. Um, it really is the foundation for your mental, physical, and emotional health. And it's so important to try to get good quality sleep on a consistent basis. But I know a lot of people struggle with sleep, whether it's falling asleep at night or staying asleep through the night or just getting enough good quality sleep um, every night. Sleep can be really, really hard. So I wanted to give you guys just a couple of quick, simple tricks that you can start to use right now that can help to improve your sleep. So step number one is to create a sleep routine. And this means going to bed and waking up about the same time each day. This includes weekends. I know it's gonna be kind of challenging, but it really, really does help your body stay on a schedule and stay on a routine. Your body is on a 24 hour internal clock. And the more that we can kind of keep it in a good rhythm of knowing when you want to be awake and when you want to be asleep, the more it's gonna get used to that and let you get sleepy at the right time at night, stay asleep through the night and be awake and alert in the morning. So figuring out how much sleep you need, what time you need to be up in the morning, maybe during the week for work or school, and then figuring out what time that means you would need to be getting ready for bed or going to bed at night, and then trying to keep on that schedule as much as possible. It really, really does help your body get used to this rhythm and a routine and will let you get better quality sleep at night. Step number two is to create kind of a sleep ritual. And that means to kind of find a routine or something that helps you wind down in the evening as you're getting ready for bed. Again, we wanna kind of help move your body towards sleep and understand when you want to be resting and when you wanna be awake. So in the evening, if you can dim the lights, kind of avoid screens or use blue light, um, dim the blue lights on your screens if you're using that at night, doing more calming, um, relaxing activities. Maybe it's reading or stretching or doing some yoga or taking a warm bath or shower. Anything that kind of will help you just sort of wind down, calm down, and again, signal to your body that it's time to get ready to sleep and to not be alert and awake anymore. Um, so getting any of those activities that work for you in the evening um, will also really, really help get you ready to have a good night's sleep. Step number three is something that you can do in the morning. First thing in the morning within about 30 to 60 minutes of waking up, if you can get bright light into your eyes, this will again help to signal to your body, okay, it's morning, it's time to be awake. We wanna be alert and awake now. And that in turn will help keep that 24 hour rhythm on track so that in the evening, you're starting to get tired at the right time. So the more that you can get even just a few minutes of bright sunlight into your eyes. If you're able to get outside and get actual direct sunlight, that's the easiest way to do it. You only need like a few minutes of that. Even on a cloudy day, maybe five to 10 minutes. Obviously it's not always feasible to get outside and get sunlight into your eyes in the morning. Maybe you live somewhere where in the winter it's really dark or you just, you know, you're not always gonna be able to get outside every day. You can also use a sun lamp or a light box. There are a lot of inexpensive options out there now um, that are like really portable and easy to use. Maybe 15, 20, or even 30 minutes, just depending on how bright that light is from the sun lamp or light box, if that's what you're using. Um, but this is really the easiest way to kind of get light into your eyes, which helps stimulate the neurons that kind of regulate that internal body clock. Um, and that will really, again, kind of set you up to stay on that routine so that your body knows when you want to be awake and when you want to start winding down for bed. Um, so those are your three simple steps to start doing right away to help you get a better sleep tonight. Create kind of a schedule, try to wake up and go to bed around the same time each night, creating a sleep routine or ritual so that you are winding down in the evening and preparing your body for sleep. And step three is to get bright light into your eyes within 30 to 60 minutes of waking up in the morning to help keep your body on that internal 24 hour clock. So if you give them a try, let me know what you think. I hope these tips are helpful. You can find more of these kinds of tips and strategies by following me on Facebook or Instagram. Leave me a comment here if you want more of this kind of information or let me know what else you would like to see. Um, if you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.